myself, Dr. Prashant Kumarwati, Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, GIS College of Engineering, Kollani. Subject topics, Advanced Welding Technology, ME703A. Course objective of the subject. After completion of this course, all students will meet the following objectives to impart knowledge on various advanced welding processes so that the student can apply them in engineering industry applications to develop the knowledge on the design of welded joints and the quality control of weldments. Course outcome, after completion of this course, students will be able to achieve deeper knowledge of welding materials, processes, technology welding, technical welding, deeper knowledge of different metals and their properties in weldment construction, knowledge of quality technique at production by welding, knowledge of current computer robotic system and cost of welding operations. Advanced welding technology AB 703A, the seven modules, module one, module two, module three, module four, module five, six and seven. Introduction and review of welding processes and welding joints, process of fusion welding, arc welding, submerged arc welding, gas metal arc welding, so other fusion weldings, and the model three is solid welding processes, pressure welding, model four friction welding, laser beam welding, uh, electro beam welding, ultrasonic welding, etc. And uh, module five is gas tungsten arc welding, arc welding equipments, electrode selections, etc. And module six, welding metallurgy, has availability of plain carbon steel, stainless steel, cast iron, aluminium. Module seven, welding defects, type of type bulges, inspection, remedial measures, testing of welded joints by visual, type of test, radiographic, ultrasonography. Safe practices in welding. Uh, the study of this subject prerequisites are manufacturing technology, welding technology, joining of metals. This is COPO mapping. So four CO and PO is 12 POs. Average is given. Uh, advanced welding technology in 703A, module 2, 4, lecture 10, friction welding. By myself, Dr. Prashant Kumarwati, Professor of Department of Mechanical Engineering. Introduction. Friction welding is a solid state welding joining process that produces corrosions by the heat developed by the two surfaces, mechanically induced surface motion. It is solid state joining process, mechanical friction between a moving workpiece and a stationary component. Lateral forces offset is applied to plastically displaced and fuse the materials. Introduction to friction welding. Friction welding is a solid state welding process. That generates heat through mechanical friction between workpieces in relative motion to one another with the with the addition of the lateral force called offset to plastically displace and fuse the materials. Friction welding is a commercially established process used to join similar and dissimilar polymers and metals and alloys. In the past 20 years, the number of applications in different areas of for the friction welding processes have been highlighted 
but very limited contributions have been reported regarding the properties of friction welded joints of dissimilar polymer plastic materials after reinforcement with the metal power. Introduction to this friction welding. Friction welding is a solid state welding joining technique that weld that welds work pieces by generating heat through the mechanical friction. In reality, an apparently smooth surfaces consist of many microscopic projections called asperities. When one surface moves relative to another, these asperities interact and see figure one generation generating friction. The force comes resistance resisting motion between two or more inter interacting surfaces. The interaction of these asperities through elastic and plastic yielding generates heat. Friction welding utilizes this phenomenon for joining applications. To induce mechanical motion of friction welding generates heat causing the materials to be joined to soften and become viscous. While in the softened state, the mechanical motion of the process mixes, mixes the materials to create a bond. The way by which the friction heat, frictional heat and material mixing occurs is very dependent on the friction welding processes utilized, of which there are four primary processes, friction state welding, friction state spot welding, linear friction welding, and rotary friction welding. Various friction welding processes, friction welding, there's a conventional at friction welding, this is friction plunge welding, friction steel welding. Conventional friction welding, this is conventional friction welding. And this one is rotating, rotating chuck, and this is non-rotational chuck and movable axillary, axillary. So it is rotating and it is movable. So and after joining, friction develop, friction develop and Reaction rotation stop, rotation stop, and while the force is applied, this is joining processes here. So, well, well forming, and this is well after this is the final joining. What is friction welding? Friction welding, as the name implies, use friction to weld to weld joints. There is no external heat that is applied in the joint process. Friction welding is not a fusion weld process, but a solid state process where the resultant joint is often as strong as the pedal metals. This welding technique is employed in several industries to join parts. Use relative motion and high force to create frictional heat at the weld face up to the points where, where, where plasticized. After that, intermixing at the welding face and end up with joint. Actually, it is not a welding process, a forging process. Processes are categorized by the types of relative motion. Different types of frictional welding processes. Linear friction welding. This is rotary friction welding. Steel friction welding. This is steel friction welding. Radial friction welding. This is radial friction welding. And the orbiting friction welding. This is orbiting friction welding. This is the linear friction. 
this is rotary friction this is state friction value this is radial friction value this is orbiting friction value linear friction welding process this is a linear friction welding process this is one piece at stony and another piece, one piece is oscillating back and forth stationary part would be pushed into the plate gives relative motion with the high force in order to heat up the weld interface to the pulching temperature creating a two piece pulching can be used for complex geometry applications in high volume applications near net shape applications for example jet engine blades car frames etc linear friction welding process is applied this is also linear friction welding this is one is stationary and it is moving linear friction welding this is slow motion this is upper part is moving moving this upper part is moving so this is similarly slow motion linear friction welding of titanium so this is linear friction welding after that it is joined together initially there is a gap but after that when it is fixed it is this heat created by friction linear friction and then join metal metal joint slow motion linear friction welding of titanium rotary friction welding process one piece is stationary and second piece is rotating this is stationary this is rotating one piece only one piece need to be in symmetric around it rotating axis next part does not necessary to be symmetric three main types inertia friction welding direct type hybrid this is the rotation and this is the fixed and after the pressure is applied when join this is pressure is applied and to the face so heat is generated and then then it is joined together well and this is pressure increase it is generated in this place and after this pressure is applied and joined together and this is after the joining flashes is there and it used to be grinded or by filing it can be removed rotary friction welding process this is rotation one is rotating and one is fixed after joining this rotary friction welding is done friction state welding the invention of friction state welding has been considered as one of the most revolutionary step in welding technology and according to few the interest of researchers worldwide in the in the into the field this respect interest has led to considerable advancement in the technology and acceptance in various industries the technique which was which was primarily developed for low melting point materials like aluminum alloy magnesium alloy etc is now even applied to steel titanium and other super alloys friction steel welding is a solid state welding joining process invented by Vinnie Thomas in 1991 at the welding institute at the 
Building Institute, which is a British research and technology organization. It was first patented by TWI Thomas Patel in 1991. Since the process is capable of joining materials without melting, it opened up new, new possibilities in the in welding technology. It provided a means of achieving rapid and high quality welds in materials like aluminum alloys, which was traditionally considered unweldable by conventional friction joining welding techniques. Friction steel welding. Basic concept of friction steel welding is a non fungible rotary tool with a specially designed pin and solder is inserted into the edge of seats or plates to the joint and transverse along the line of point joints. Line of joints. The tool serves two primary functions, fitting the workpieces pieces and B, movement of materials to produce the joint. The heating is accomplished by friction between the tool and the workpiece and plastic deformation of workpiece. As a result of this process, the joint is produced in solid state. Friction straight welding, downward force welding in this direction. This is rotational tool, this is spin, this is a nugget welding joints, nugget is welded material, rotating site, advancing friction straight welding region. This is the region, this is the welded material, pull rotational, downward force. Building direction, this is solder. So, friction steel welding figure is shown here. Friction steel welding, both work pieces are stationary. The work piece could be metal or extrusion. Use non fungible pin tool, this is non fungible pin tool that is rotating and providing the force for forging. When the pin travels along the seam, it leaves a forged weight in its path. They used to weld very thin material. Weld long pieces, for example, metal seats. This is the pin. The rotation. This is a stationary. This is a heat affected joint. Well nugget. This is a well nugget. This is bubble pin rotating. Backing bar. So this is figure of the friction state welding and the, how it works. Used to weld very thin materials, weld long pieces, example metal seats. Advantage of friction steel welding, good mechanical properties in the as welded conditions, improved safety due to the absence of toxic films or or the space spatter. So no fumes, toxic fumes and spatter or molten metal. No consumers, a threaded pin made uh, of conventional tool steel that is hardened H13 can weld over one kilometer of aluminum and no filler or gas seal is required for aluminum. Can operate in all positions horizontal, vertical, etc. as there is no weld 
can use thinner materials with same joint stain. Low environmental impact. Friction steel building. Friction steel is considered to be the most significant development in metal joining in a decade. And green technology due to the decrease energy efficiency, environment friendliness, and versatility as compared to performance welding methods. Friction welding consumes considerably less energy. Advantage of friction steel welding, exit hole left when the tool is withdrawn. Large downforce required with heavy duty cat clamping. Necessary to hold the plates together. Less flexible than manual and arc processes. Difficulties with thickness variation and non-linear welds. Often slower traverse rate than some friction welding technique. Although this may be offset in if fewer welding passes are required. This is the disadvantages of friction welding, state welding. Radial friction welding processes. Radial friction welding is one of one short forge welding process initially developed by TWI uh, for piping joint, pipe joining. The technique involves rotational and radial compression of the of a solid bevel edge bevel ring into a key preparation provided by the pipe ends to the joint. Have a collar that is rotating and compressing into the outer diameter of a tube or a bar. This is stationary clamp pipe and support mandrel. This is support mandrel and ring rotated and compressed. Have a collar that is rotating and compressing into the outer diameter of the tube or the bar. Orbital friction. Frictional welding process is another orbital friction welding is similar to rotary friction welding, but both welded parts are rotating in the same direction, the same direction and, and at the same speed, but with their axis offset by up to three millimeter. This is offset by three millimeter figure. It is possible to join non-round component and a number of separate parts in one friction weld sequence orbiting the two parts around their central axis friction welding offers many uh, advantages Many advantages in the manufacturing sector, including remaining in the solid state, therefore avoiding many of the defects associated with fusion welding, such as pores and solid friction cracks. Producing comparative, comparably low temperature when compared to fusion welding, which reduces intermetallic formation, allow for a wide range of similar and dissimilar materials to be joined. The distortion of the welded component is also reduced. Being able to join many non-weldable aluminum alloy, namely from the two triple X and seven triple X series. Not requiring a filler metal, 
fluxes and ceiling gases. Not requiring special age preparation in most application. Being easily automated, making the process highly repeatable and not dependent on human influence, resulting resulting very low defects rates. Being able to produce weld with mechanical properties that are comparable or superior to the bedding materials for a range of similar and dissimilar materials combinations. Being able to reduce the materials required to make a component by joining smaller pieces to produce a P4, which is subsequently machined to the desired dimensions. Advantages, simplicity of operation, less time required, low surface impurities and oxide films compared to resistance part welding produce improved welds. Narrower heat effector tune, heat effector tune is very small compared to the flash welding. Strong weld for all geometries can join dissimilar materials. Disadvantages, process is restricted to flat angular welds, use joining for small parts. In case of tube welding process, get complicated. In high carbon steel, it is difficult to remove flash, require heavy digit machine due to the high thrust pressure. Applications. Automobile, bimetallic engine valves, universal joint yoke, aerospace, turbine beds joining, seamless joining, consumer hand tools, medical stainless steels, marine turbines, mining and drilling, twist steels, Hydraulic equipment, principles, friction welding is process. A is costly, B is cost saving, C is time consuming, D is highly material selective. So in this case, Cost saving is the correct answer. B cost saving. Friction welding is cost saving process. Because there is no recurring cost, only current is, is given for resistance friction will for the power uh, rotating the tools by friction it is being welded. Next question. Friction welding produces quality joints with a 100% weld. This is lap joint, T joint, part joint. Eight joints. Friction welding is a part joint with a 100% weld. Friction welding process, materials are joined by motion between materials. A is rectilinear, B is rubbing, C is tangential D is brown yarn, brown yarn. So here the answer is, answer is rubbing. Friction welding process, materials are joined by rubbing motion between the materials. So B is the correct answer. Now all metallic engineering materials which are dash can be friction welded. All metallic engineering materials which are can be friction welded. One is A soft material, B is weldable material, C is forgeable material, uh, D is 
metamaterial. So in this case, purgeable material is can be joined by friction welding. So this is the end of the class. So some more questions. Which of the following is not true about friction welding? Division and dissimilar metals can be joined. This technique are relatively faster as compared to the other technology. This technology is suitable for any parts of shapes or sizes. Shear surfaces can also be joined by the process. So here the answer is dissimilar metals cannot be joined. It's not true, it can be joined, that means. And the ordinary process is not true about the friction welding. So dissimilar material can be joined in this case. Sixth number question, which of the following holds true for friction welding? Hazardous fumes are generated during the process. Argon is used as a signaling gas. It is a power consuming process. D is, there is no solidification defects in the welded parts. So A is, is not correct. B is also not correct because our uh, sealing gas is not used. It is a power consuming process, it is also not correct. Hazardous fumes are not coming from this process. So there is no solidification defects. So this is a B is the correct answer in the welded parts. So this is next end of this class. Next class is lecture number 11, diffusion welding. So for this class, any inquiry, this, my, my, this email address is given here. So thank you very much for listening. Next class, lecture number 11, we'll meet again. Thank you.